Hello, uh, I'm going to show you an easy way to store your chilies. I mean, uh, a lot of the times people think you must keep buying fresh chilies to use them in your cooking. Don't have to do that. When you've got excess chilies, you can cut them up, and put them in the freezer bag, put them in the freezer. So let me show you. Doesn't have to be anything special of any particular size. second all these seeds let me just cut the rest of these and we'll come right back okay you can see just nothing really complicated red hot chili which is the serrano not that hot but for a lot of people they're very hot what I'm going to do now is put them in a colander you'll see why I've got a bowl underneath in a second I do not have to remind you that after you've been cutting chilies up with no gloves, you need to wash your hands before you go to the toilet. All right, so if you just come over here, you'll see that I'm going to just do something really simple. Look underneath the bowl now. Have a look underneath. See the seeds going there for a very good reason in a second. I don't mind a little bit of the seed in my cooking, but what I'm doing is saving seeds. Very simple. Just give me another minute done this and I'll show you the end result. Okay, uh, there's still plenty of seed left in the chilli, but that's okay. I don't mind a bit of seed in the cooking. If you're really fussy, you can cut the chilli, pull out with a spoon, you know, down the centre and get rid of all the seeds. But I like a bit of seed left in the chilli. But what it's left me is probably about 200, 250, maybe even 300 seeds. And to dry them, simply leave them inside. I'll give you a good example. All I would do with these is put them on the shelf, <coughs> away from the sun. It's not a darkened room, but just normal room temperature. What that's going to do is they'll dry in about two to three weeks. Every few days, just get a little spoon and then move the seeds around so any moisture that's on them will evaporate. So you'll have more seeds to plant fresh chilies afterwards. And now what I'm going to do is simply bag these. So, not really a complicated process, just a little bag, like I say, I've marked that. I'm just going to put them in here. Like I say, there were, I don't know, four or five chilies, I can't remember now. But all that is, is going to go in the freezer. What I do is I just take most of the air out. You can use a vacuum cell if you like. I've got one. And that will go into the freezer just like that. So you don't need to have fresh chilies on hand all the time, which I do like to use, but this allows you to store these five to six months without any problem at all. These don't last that long in my house. But if that's helped anybody, it's a very simple process. You don't have to blanch them. You can do, but I don't, the chilies, and straight in the freezer. If you have been, thank you for watching.